it's Sonia Elsie here. So for today's video, I have a very exciting video for you guys. And this is going to be a how to have a vegan Thanksgiving video. And I'm going to be talking through a bunch of different recipes that I'm going to cook and I'm going to be cooking them in front of you. So this is actually my very first vegan Thanksgiving and I was really inspired by Kalel's video that she made last Thanksgiving talking about how to have a vegan Thanksgiving. So today I'm going to be cooking a bunch of things for you guys and just showing you easy simple recipes that you can have for your Thanksgiving if you have family members who maybe aren't as accepting of veganism and you want to show them that vegan Thanksgiving can be yummy and good, you can definitely cook these things for them. So first I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be cooking and what ingredients I have. So the main thing that I'm going to be making is this savory stuffed turkey and they spell it Turk apostrophe Y because it is a vegan turkey. This is from Gardein and I've never tried this before but Kalel said that this was the best vegan fake meat product like for Thanksgiving so I'm going to trust her on that and make this. I also got a thing of gravy from Tofurky. It says vegetarian savory gravy but then it says all vegan so just gotta make sure it says vegan. And this is going to be for mashed potatoes. I personally am not a huge fan of gravy. I never really liked it before I was vegan, but definitely my family will want this, so I have that. I have a cranberry sauce. I love cranberry sauce so much, and it doesn't have any gelatin in it or anything, so this is just the Ocean Spray brand. I'm going to be making onion cream cheese rolls that are completely vegan. For cream cheese, I'm using the Tofutti Better Than Cream Cheese cream cheese, and I like that the I like the other one that they have better, but this one still will work. And then I have this Cross and Blackwell caramelized onion chutney for the insides, and then I have some Pillsbury crescents. So 10 out of 10. I'm going to be making mashed potatoes, so I have a big bag of just regular potatoes. And then I have Earth Balance Vegan Butter and Vegan Sour Cream. I'm going to be doing a vegan macaroni bake. So I have another box of this somewhere. I don't know where it went, but I have this Daya mac and cheese and then I have these fried onion things. I'm going to be making coleslaw. So I have two bags of this just random coleslaw. And you have to make sure that you buy the one that doesn't come with the sauce because otherwise it comes with this non-vegan sauce. I have stuffing. This is... Ions, gluten-free, savory stuffing, and I have vegetable broth to go with it. And then for dessert, I don't actually like pie, but if you like pie, you can make pie at your Thanksgiving. So I'm going to be making cake batter cookies. This box cake batter, a lot of this stuff is accidentally vegan, so just make sure you check the ingredients. And then I have egg replacement, olive oil, and I have some vegan chocolate chips. So. Let's get started with the video. So I just preheated the oven to 450 for the Gardein bake, but I'm going to be preparing this little thing that I have for the roasts, and I didn't realize two actually come inside of there, so that's pretty cool. But I'm going to be spraying this Trader Joe's Italian olive oil spray just on, on here so that it doesn't stick. Not too much, but like, it's okay. It's Thanksgiving. You don't have to be low oil. Just kidding, do whatever you want to, but like, personally, not me. So I'm just gonna take these. My hands are clean, don't worry. Look, it's so little, what the heck, it's so tiny. And I'm gonna put that there. Oh, and it comes with two gravy packets. These look kind of gross. That's why I bought this other one in case like, we needed more gravy, but yeah, wow, this is really small. Okay. So that is going to be the little things and I recommend maybe if you have a bigger family like purchasing a couple of these or maybe like a different kind because these are really small like they're the size of my hand so probably everyone will get like half of it or something which is still good but yeah they're definitely really small. And once the oven preheats I'm going to put this in the oven for it says 30 minutes and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So the next thing that I'm going to be making is coleslaw and the stuff that I use is just the pre-cut stuff because I'm lazy so I'm going to dump this into the bowl. Mm, this is a lot of coleslaw. I have the coleslaw in the bowl and in this bowl I'm going to be making the coleslaw sauce. So the first thing that you need is some vegan mayo. This is veganaise. Um, I've actually never tried 
You guys, before I usually have just mayo, but this is what was at the store, so we're just gonna work with it. it smells just like regular mayonnaise. So I usually just like to see like how much sauce I want to make, but I'm going to be taking a couple of scoops. Oh yeah, nice and and mayo-y. I think I usually just I don't actually measure things. I just kind of like look at it. So that looks like it'll be good. And if I do need to make more, then you can always make more. It's fine. It's not the end of the world if you don't make enough. So, you know. Next, I'm going to be squeezing some of this lemon juice in. I usually squeeze like part of the lemon, not all of it, because I don't know. I don't, whoa, it just literally squirted everywhere. But I'm going to put it a little bit in there. And you want to make sure that you get the seeds out. Um, seeds do not taste good, especially lemon seeds. So just, you know, squeeze that. And to me, like this, this looks like a pretty good amount of lemon juice in there. So I'm going to save this for later. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of sugar in this. And I think that this is what makes the coleslaw taste really good is to have the sauce be a little bit sweet, but I'm using the Wholesome Live Sweetly Organic Cane Sugar. So I'm just going to take a small scoop of that and just put it in there. Maybe like that much. So stir it around, put it in there. And then you can take like a fork or something, but I prefer to stir things actually with chopsticks. So just stir that around until the sauce is all mixed. So I just tasted the sauce and I don't think it's sweet enough. So I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. And yeah, just depending on what you like, if you like the sauce to be sweeter or more sour or whatever, you can add more or less sugar or more or less lemon juice. This is just how I like it. Tried the sauce, it tastes perfect. So now I'm actually gonna take this and put it in a bigger bowl because I don't think that this bowl is going to be big enough for me to stir it and then just mix the sauce with the actual lettuce. So I might actually have to make a second serving of the sauce, but no, we'll just put that on there, mix it together. Yes, bitch, look at that. Don't want to waste. Scoop as much of it as you can. And just kind of mix it around to make sure that there's not any dry lettuce. No one likes that. And then depending on, you know, what you do, you might need to make a second serving like think I have to make a second serving of the sauce which is nice so I'm just going to put this in the fridge and then take it out put it in this nice bowl when we're ready to have dinner and yeah it's just gonna cool off so the oven just beeped so I put the roast in for 30 minutes and let me turn on the light so you guys can see it it's just going to be in there oh they look so cute it's not even a dead animal it's just some tofu nothing had to die to make this it's lit I am currently boiling the noodles from the Dea mac and cheese things to make the mac and cheese bake, so yes. So I just cooked the vegan macaroni, I added the sauce and everything, and this is two boxes of it by the way, and I'm just going to spread it out in this pan. I don't know how evenly it's going to cover it, so we're just going to see. Yes. And you can add more cheese to this if you want, but I think that it's just good like this if you want to have like a top layer of like cheese. Vegan cheese, of course. Ooh. And there we go. I'm gonna spread it across. That looks really good, yes. And you want it to be even so that it bakes evenly. You could also add like vegan chicken or whatever if you wanted to to this, but I don't know. I'm just gonna be having plain old macaroni. Then I'm going to be taking these fried onion pieces and this is from Trader Joe's and it has a V right there so you know it's vegan and these taste so good. I could like snack on these on their own. That is what they look like. And I'm just going to be spreading this on top of here for like a nice crunchy texture. Yes, bitch. You can put as much or as little as you want to. Bunch of it just went on the floor. Just girly things but I like to put kind of, kind of a lot. 
Make sure that your hands are clean, by the way. I've been washing my hands a lot throughout this just because I keep getting stuff on them. But yeah, you don't want anyone's food to have germs in it. Look what just came out of the oven. I love how slow the zoom on my camera is. Like, ooh, look at that. It's still really hot so i have a lot more things to cook so this is going to cool off while i cook all of those and yeah it's gonna be awesome so i just put the macaroni bake in the oven it looks excuse me it looks really good and i put it at 350 for 15 minutes and because i had just cooked the garden turkey thing it was already hot so i didn't have to wait for it to preheat and yeah, after 15 minutes, we'll take it out. Okay, so currently my dad is helping me peel the potatoes and then I'm going to make mashed potatoes with them. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the macaroni to be baked and for all the potatoes to be ready, I'm going to start making the stuffing. And if you hear any potato um, skin scraping sounds in the background, that's just my dad. So I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of this earth balanced butter and just put that in here i think i just i just kind of guess and it usually seems to work so put that in there okay so on the ingredients they said to use this chicken broth but instead i'm using vegetable broth and i'm using the whole foods 365 brand and it says vegan on here look at that vegan you need two cups of that so i'm just going to add the first cup and now the second cup I'm going to turn the heat on to, let's see, not high, probably like four. And then it says to add the whole entire bag of this. So let's see how that works. Oh, make sure there's no. Ooh. And then apparently just stir this around until it is ready. So I actually have an audience here that um, watches and just makes sure that what I'm doing is good, so thank you so much to Gary and Patrick for really just helping me with this video. Oh, yes! Yes, just finished the macaroni bake, so I'm actually going to start setting stuff on the table. So I'm going to put this on the table so that I have space in here, and next I'm going to finish with the stuffing and then make the rolls, so it's going to be lit. So basically, I'm about to make the vegan cream cheese rolls, and if you guys have maybe seen another video that I've done, I've actually made a video on how to do these, but it was a long time ago, so I'll link that down below if you guys want to watch it. But basically, you are taking crescent rolls. These are accidentally vegan. My dad just opened it. That's why it's like oozing. But, and then I'm also going to take some caramelized onion chutney. I have a couple of these because I'm using them up. And then I am putting the cream cheese in it so the reason why i make these is because i my favorite appetizer before i was vegan was these little cheese balls and they had like onion stuff on it and they were on this bread so i recreated it it does look different but it is just really good so i'm going to show you guys how i do that first before i forget i'm going to spray the pan again with the trader joe's olive oil I'm just going to open this. Ooh, looks so interesting. And take this out carefully. Ah. Oh god, okay, we have that mess over there. Then I'm going to be making them on this plate and putting them on the baking tray over there. So let's get started. First, you just want to take this apart. I don't know if it's because these are old that these are like so weird, but we can still make them even if like it doesn't look the best. So I'm going to take some of this cream cheese from Tofutty, vegan of course, and I take a little bit, like probably about that much, and just kind of spread it around on there. And then I'm going to take some of the onion stuff and just also put it on there. Guys, stop fighting. May not look the most beautiful, but you know, that's life. So I'm just going to wrap this around like that. Just kind of however, oh God, oh, oh God, okay. You know, sometimes that just happens. And try and kind of like close up anything. And then just going to put it over here. 
So this is how the onion rolls turned out. They look kind of weird because for some reason the bread was really falling apart. I don't really know why they were doing that, but I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes, I think, and then they're gonna be done. For the mashed potatoes, I'm supposed to cover them, and since I don't want to boil them, I'm microwaving them for 10 minutes. So we're gonna see how that goes. So I finished with the stuffing, and I put it in this little bowl because I'm already out of bowls. I don't have a lot of utensils and plates and fancy stuff for Thanksgiving. But yeah, I ended up adding some more vegetable broth because it was a little bit dry, and I already tried a little bit, and it's not my favorite. Also, there are potatoes cooking in the background in a microwave, and they're making a bunch of weird sounds. But anyways, this, um, yeah, it's not my favorite. It's gluten-free. It was the only vegan stuffing that they had, but there are better ones, so I wouldn't really recommend this one, but it is, it's still good. It's just not like, you know, the best. So I'm gonna go set this out on the table and then we'll get on with the cooking. Okay, so this is how the onion rolls turned out and they don't look too bad, which I'm happy about. They were getting, I don't know why they were falling apart, but yes, look at that. So I just took these out of the microwave and some of them are mashing and some of them were not, so I'm probably gonna put them back in for a few more minutes. So if you have a dad, you can put them to work. And my dad is mashing the potatoes right now. And there's one potato that didn't want to cook, so it's still in the microwave. And next I'm going to be making the saucy stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to add the ingredients. Don't mind this masher here, it's just waiting for me to continue mashing. But I'm going to be adding some of the Earth Balance Butter. This stuff is honestly my favorite, like the original flavor. So it said four to six tablespoons. I think that's kind of a lot. I'm just gonna put in a couple scoops. Uh, nice and fatty. And then you also want to add a cup of milk. So I'm doing the rice drink from Trader Joe's. This is unsweetened. I'm just going to be adding a cup of that. And then I used to love adding this before I was vegan, but this is the Vegan Gourmet Sour Cream from Follow Your Heart. I'm just going to add a little bit in there. Yes. <laughs> then I'm going to just keep mashing. Also, don't forget to add some salt if you like that stuff. I'm just adding this from Trader Joe's sea salt crystals. So, I'm just going to put a little bit, put as much or as little as you want to, honestly. I like my potatoes to be a little bit salty, but not too salty. Okay, so now I'm going to make the cake batter cookies. Like I said at the beginning, these are accidentally vegan, so just choose whatever cake mix you want to. I chose yellow cake mix because my grandma used to make really good yellow cake mix cookies and I want to recreate those. So the next thing that you need is this egg replacer and this I just bought in the gluten-free section. It doesn't have any dairy in it, so it's awesome. Just gotta check the ingredients. But you can also use like a crushed banana. There's a bunch of other things you can use, but I just prefer this because it doesn't have, I don't want to have a banana flavor in these. And then you also need some chocolate chips. These are dairy free and you also have to check that they don't have eggs because apparently dairy free does not include eggs. I just learned. The next thing that you need is some oil. They said cooking oil. Um, we had olive oil in the fridge or in the cabinet so hopefully it'll still turn out the same with olive oil. I think that it will so I'm just gonna mix all of these together and then bake them. Okay so I'm just gonna dump this whole entire packet in there. The recipe calls for two eggs and on this box it has instructions for use. It says one and a half teaspoons of energy egg replacer plus two tablespoons of warm water equals one egg. So I usually just kind of guess and I put a couple scoops into there and so far in my life it has been totally fine. So let's take just a little bit of that. Then that. I'm gonna add a little bit of warm water. Next, I'm going to be adding a third cup of olive oil. So sorry to all the no oil vegans, but I'm gonna be gonna be adding some oil. And because I wanted chocolate chips in these, you don't have to have chocolate chips. I just wanted them. I'm going to dump in the rest of these chocolate chips. 
that might have been too many. It's, it's too late. They're already in there. Now I'm just going to stir all of this together and then put it on some globs and bake them. Okay, so my dad and my brother and I just rolled up all of these. I'm gonna put these in the oven for probably like 10-ish minutes, I'm not quite sure. And then we're gonna check on them, and then this is the final thing. And then we can finally eat, and you guys can see everything that I've made, so. Okay, so I put the cookies in there. They're at 375 for 8 minutes, and after that we're gonna see. If they're not, you know, the edges aren't browned, then I'll keep them in for longer, but yes, so good. The cookies are done. They look really, really good. So now I'm going to show you guys everything at the table. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so the first thing we have is the cream cheese onion rolls. Next, we have our vegan turkey from Gardein, which they're smaller than I thought, but you know, it's this is how it's gonna work. And the gravy that came with it, I got an extra tofurkey gravy, but don't actually need it. Um, some stuffing, we have our mashed potatoes, we have our vegan mac and cheese bake, we have our cranberry sauce, we have our coleslaw with vegan mayonnaise, and then we have our vegan cake batter cookies with chocolate chips in them. So 100% vegan, no animals were harmed in the making of this at all. Everything is good. Um, yeah, so you can show your family members that you don't only eat grass when you're a vegan. You can have all of this. So this is how you have a vegan Thanksgiving. Look at all of that. Yes. I am so excited. Okay guys, so that was my how to have a vegan Thanksgiving video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been requested so much to do this and I really wanted to film this, especially since last Thanksgiving. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a like or a dislike if you liked or disliked it. And let me know if you make any of these things, tag me in some pictures, or even if you just have a completely different vegan Thanksgiving. I wanna see your pictures, so be sure to tag me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.